In our rapidly changing society, conversations about gender identity and expression have gained attention. The question arises, should we educate children about gender diversity? Some believe it fosters inclusivity and empathy, while others worry about potential confusion and developmental impact. Through these carefully curated clips, we invite you to witness a dynamic exploration of the merits and challenges surrounding this contentious issue. Get ready to broaden your understanding and engage in the conversation. I'm a cisgendered man. What, what does, does that mean? Cis mean? So that means if you were, so you were born a woman, and therefore you still identify as a woman, so you're a cisgendered woman. You what what am originally. I? Well, I assume you're a cisgendered I'm not man, a cis if, anything, if, mate. I, if I may assume. I'm not so. a cis anything. Well, I'm, just a, I'm just a man. Well, no, but you're a cisgendered man. No, I'm not you're a just... cisgendered anything. But hang on. What does if... cis mean? Well, that means that you were born the way that you identify no, now. No, I'm just born a man. But someone who transitions. Why are you insisting on calling me something I'm not? Well, you can refer to yourself as just a man if, 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 if you like. But I think most people identify as male or female, man or woman. Right? That's right. The vast majority of people. But that doesn't mean that there aren't other people who identify differently. There are a hundred different genders on this BBC list, apparently. Mm -hmm. Right? One of them is two spirit person, polygender. Pan gender, neutroids. There are a hundred genders they can identify as. You have come to defend it, and you don't know what half of these are. But hang on, Piers. Ignorance isn't a defence. You're the ignorant one, and you're the one defending it. Well, Piers, you're the one that doesn't know what it is as well, of course. I'm about to tell but, you. Do you know Apologender what? Apologender is a fairly new word stemming from the Greek apor, meaning separate. Aporogender is an umbrella term, meaning a gender separate from male, female, and anything in between, while still having a very strong and specific gendered feeling. Mm. That latter part is key, then, distinguishing it from agender. Is this which how is they're explaining it to who, children? Uh, by the way, can you explain that to me? What does that mean? Well, that means that someone identifies differently to you, and that's what is at the no, heart. No, no, no. Can you explain that's what aporogender is, isn't which it? is one of the hundred genders that kids now have to be? What is it? Well, how good? You know, it's not. It's not sort of. A, it's not university challenge. I've just I've told you on. what it is. No, but this is for children, Benjamin. Right. This is, the tr this is what my problem. What's with... the harm? You know, if somebody's going to be ha a happier person because they say that they're a man or a woman, like, what's the harm in just letting them do it? I'm not in favor of government banning people who are adults. Children I'm in favor of banning because now you're talking about somebody who's not capable of consent. Right? All, of our, all of our laws are based on the ability of people to consent. If you're a child, you can't consent. So I'm very much in favor of banning gender transition for kids. I think that it's frankly evil. I think you're making decisions for children who are not capable of making decisions for themselves that are permanent and have long-lasting, significant, and severe impact. Uh, as far as adults, if you're 25 and you want to get a sex change surgery and you feel like it's going to make you feel better, you have the right to do it. You do. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. I mean, the, the, the research on this stuff tends to be somewhat conflicting, but if it works for you, it works, right? It's a free country. Now, that's really not the question that's being asked in our society today, because I don't think there are that many people who are like, we want to ban gender surgery for a 30-year-old. I'm not seeing the campaign for that. What I am seeing is a campaign on the left that says that my child is going to be removed from my home 10 years from now if I don't agree with the left's view of how I should treat my child's gender confusion at age four. I see the left suggesting that they want to find me if I refuse to say that a man is a woman as a general proposition. Right? If I say that men and women are separate, then the left says this is discrimination. Or the left is going to suggest that it has no impact on my business if I employ a woman at Hooters and she shows up the next day as a man. Right? Like that, that does have an impact on my business, right? But, but the, the, the left would suggest, well, you know, you should, you should sort of deal with it. Well, it turns out that gender does mean something, and it does have an actual meaning to people outside of you. I'm not going to go along with the general societal willingness to rewrite basic facets of human nature and human biology and frankly mammalian biology in order to suggest that a delusion is true. Mm. I'm now reading out a number of these hundred genders. A, you've never heard of them. Mm. B, you've no idea what they are. But C, you no. want to encourage Hang the on. BBC to instruct our kids that they should be one of these genders. But that isn't the point. The fact is... That, that is the point. The fact is that people identify in different ways. And when you get bogged down by the idea that children might know that they're different, that they might be helped to understand why they're different, that the teachers teaching them might be prepared with the apparatus to explain it to them, that is a good thing. A so hundred you, I think that's you might, the surely. Do you know what Neutroids is? You might find it strange and unusual, and we might not be able to answer what every one of the 100 is. But that doesn't you mean don't that they do exist. Well, you've, I suspect you picked the, the no, two most... No, I've literally... I heard of there's an A to, to B list, today. and you I'm have, just picking them at random. You have things like... So far, I've picked three, then you have no idea what they are. Do you know what two. Neutroids is? Uh, get, tell me, tell me. Well, have, a stab, me. have a stab, have a stab. Well, OK, I don't know. I don't Imagine know you're a nine-year-old kid and the BBC's told you to be one of these, so what's 
doesn't need toys. Well, no, that's not what would happen. What would happen is the kid would say how they're feeling. Have you got any kids? Uh, no, I don't. Okay, I've got 27. four kids, right, including three boys, right? But You're male or female, or you identify as something else, right? But there are but lots what we don't of do is have these hundred the ridiculous terms that even you, the world expert on gender, <laughs> has no idea what any of them are. And I, right? I think the truth is that kids identify in different ways. And the real thing that we should be focused on here... What's the it, job of a parent and a school teacher with a child? It's to make them feel comfortable in who they are. Or and to offer them... Or to... Or Benjamin, let me throw you something at you. Having been a parent of four kids, and I'm not using that as a stick against you, right? I just happen to have had four kids. And I believe the job of a parent is actually to navigate them through life, which is difficult, yeah. but actually to keep things relatively yeah. simple. Mm. And to let the child know that they can come and talk to their parents if they feel a bit different. And I know, if you start telling kids, kids there's a hundred different ways they can identify, salamber, most kids will reach a stage where, to, just to be mischievous <laughs> and to play up a bit, they'll all say, Dad, I'm new Troy's today, right? Yeah. No, I don't think you do that. You That's exactly what kids do, mate. I'm telling well, you. Not in any What kids any do is they actually, way. if they've got a little label they can attach themselves to and be encouraged to do it by the BBC, Raise your child they in will a house it. where they know they can talk to you if they, you know, if they feel differently and there are things that we can do to help them adapt in life. Let's the whole world shouldn't them, adapt for somebody's personality. You don't, you don't, you don't agree that there are a hundred Let me get a word here. Well, I agree that, that people have identified as all these things. And the truth is, I don't accept that you can convince a kid that they are something other than they are. We talk about kids being confused by this. The truth is that if you're not a cis man or woman, mm. then you've been confused way, for we, hundreds listen, of years because I'm not a cis you're not man. reflected you in the education system. You call me a cis system. man. I'm a man. Well, fine, and that's how you can identify. Stop calling me. Spirit but I feel insulted and offended that you're calling me a cis man when I'm actually a man. Well, uh, you see how this works. But when you get into the when you get into the offence business, offense. right? When you get into the offence business, where everyone is offended by all this terminology, right? Actually, I'm offended by you calling me a cis man. And okay. it, it is actually used as an insult when people are yeah. called cis. Well, I, I was... As soon as you start I'm being called a sissy people, right now, and I don't like mm. it, Benjamin. As soon as you box people into identities, it mm. splits people off from each other, doesn't it? When Why is this all happening now? I think it gives people a sense of who they are, and I don't accept you can promote this. You know, I learned about World War II for several years at school, but I'm yet to think invading Poland is a good idea. You can't convince oh, someone... Can I identify... Can I identify... Can I identify there's a penguin at the Sea Life Aquarium in London that mm. is currently being reared gender-neutral apparently has gay parents, right? Two mums. I have sounds... nothing to say on this subject. Well, hang on, let me, let me just say this. <laughs> it's no. Can I? Can I? It's but only if they want to make it ridiculous. You know, common sense says that these are different Common genders. sense, Benjamin! Different genders that real people have identified as. They haven't identified as a penguin. We've been male and female for 200,000 years. But we I don't haven't. understand why That's all this is... Point. Well, we have, Actually, and we've we evolved have, at Benjamin. that. We have, Benjamin. This... this What's what's, what has risen evolution? in the last in the last two or three decades? We've had a, a large number of people transgendering, mm. quite rightly, as our wonderful guest has today, and I, they have my complete respect. What this does is actually makes, I think, people who have transgendered it makes them figures of fun. It exposes yeah. them to needless mockery. It makes the whole thing look ridiculous. Only if you and actually, the real victims tend to be people who have transgendered and have to put up with this nonsense. We appreciate your engagement and encourage you to share your thoughts and opinions in the comments section below. Remember to subscribe to our channel for more insightful content.